Hey everybody, it's Jen with OpenSource.com and I'm bringing you the top five articles from this past week, December 5th. At number five, we have open washing, adopter beware. Patrick Mason left a comment on the site last week on one of our articles and it was so great that we decided that it really needed to be an article on its own. So Patrick is currently serving as the general manager for the open source initiative who maintains the industry recognized open source definition and certifies licenses as OSI approved open source licenses. Patrick says many new to the sector may not be familiar with these standards or how they are applicable to the community and development practices. We can see this happening as some open source We can see this happening as open source becomes more popular and companies see an opportunity to capitalize on that success. Michelle Thorne, Mozilla's director of the Webmaker program, defines open washing as spinning a product or company as open, although it is not. So what do you think? Should, do users care? Should they? Leave us a comment. At number four, we have Tin Whiskers Brewery bucks the trend of secret recipes. Tin Whiskers Brewing Company is based in St. Paul, Minnesota, and calls themselves a local open source craft brewery on a mission to make technically excellent beer. Scott Nesbitt takes a look at how Jake Johnson, Jeff Moriarty, and George Kellerman hope to open the book on everything they do, including the recipe for their beers. This trio is a group of electrical engineers who are also craft beer drinkers, home brewers, and as Scott describes, people afflicted with entrepreneurial spirit. Read more in this interview with George Kellerman. At number three, we have eight ways to contribute to open source without writing code. Tobias Pfeiffer is a full stack engineer and writes this informative article about ways you can get involved in an open source project and be part of the greater open source community without writing code and without making commits. I have three WordPress sites that I actively maintain. So my personal favorite is improve the website. Find out what the other seven are in this article. At number two, we have using OwnCloud to integrate Dropbox, Google Drive, and more in GNOME. Jerry Folto was looking for an easy, clean solution to have all of his online storage services integrated with his Linux desktop. In this short tutorial, learn how to integrate OwnCloud with the GNOME desktop, and then add your favorite cloud provider to use all of your accounts in one place just as easily as if they were local drives. Finally, at number one, we have the impacts of the Linux philosophy. All operating systems have a philosophy, and that philosophy matters to the community and to the evolution of software. David Both writes this article, and he's been in the IT industry for over 30 years, working for IBM for some of that time. In 1981, he actually wrote the first training course for the original IBM PC. In this feature article, David pulls excerpts out of books on Linux and Unix, as well as provides real-world examples to illustrate the Linux philosophy. Find out more about its impact on the world in our number one article. All right, and we have an honorable mention this week by Luis Ibanez, Raspberry Pi Encoder by Google for Beginners and Kids. This is a great informative article, tutorial on how to get started with Coder. Um, you can check it out on the site and all the links to all of the articles that I've talked about today are in the notes below and the article comes out every Saturday. Thanks you guys, have a great week, we'll see you next time.